We have many people that have gone out there, at least 90% have never been happy. When they go out there, they say, come back here and get married to their own. So that's why we're a little bit skeptical with Emily. It kind of feels like Kobe's friends don't really like Emily. In fact, it sounds like they don't really like American women in general. So what's going on here? Are they trying to split Kobe and Emily up? Are they trying to get Kobe to return back to Cameroon for good? The way Kobe is talking is a little concerning. He's supposed to be my number one fan and my supporter, and I'm worried they're putting all of these doubts in his head that he never had before. Emily's getting concerned. Surely Kobe's friends and family won't drive them apart, will they? Well, before we get into that, let's just start at the beginning. So the last we saw these two, Emily and her family had just met Kobe's family for the very first time. And Kobe's family dropped the bombshell that they wanted, they expected, a traditional Cameroonian wedding on this trip. <laughs> yeah, Emily and her parents were not happy. And uh, can you blame them? How inconsiderate of Kobe's family. How very dare they. Why should they have to do a round two? Because Kobe's family weren't involved the first time round. Outrageous. <laughs> Wait, you being serious? Of course, I'm kidding. But when we join them in this episode, it's clear that Kobe is just thrilled to be back in Cameroon. He wants to make the most of his time here. It's feel good to be back, to be in a place where you can call your home. And since I'm only in Cameroon for two weeks, I really want to spend time with some of my friends. Now, Kobe's at the barbershop in preparation for his upcoming Cameroonian wedding. He wants to look his best, and he's invited his two best friends to come and join him. They're long overdue a catch-up. And as we know, Kobe has been worried about the impression that Emily will leave on his friends and family. So now's his chance just to make sure that everyone's on the same page. He wants to know his friend's true thoughts. What do they really think about him being married to an American woman? In Cameroon, when you know that a man is the king of his house. What the man says stands, a woman has nothing to say. Okay, so it's immediately obvious that everyone is not on the same page. Emily definitely won't be winning any Best Wife Awards if this is the standard that they're holding her up to. Now, this whole the man is the king of the house and the woman must do as they say attitude isn't going to work on any Western woman. I mean, that much is clear. It's very outdated. It's a very misogynistic way to look at the world. But I get it. Different culture, different playbook. But with that being said, at the end of the day, Kobe's friends should respect the fact that Kobe's happy with Emily. He's clearly not looking for a traditional Cameroonian wife. In Africa, the women have to be submissive to us, but I know over there, it's not the same. Everybody has equal rights. And when you can maybe express your right as being a man as an African, I think you're not happy. The way that Kobe's friend is talking here feels so very overboard. Like, he's completely ignoring how diverse Africa is. Like, sure, yes, I'm sure there are folks in the West and in Africa with these views. But for him to stand here and pretend that he's somehow speaking on behalf of a whole continent is crazy. Kobe seems to be loving his life in America. I mean, he seems to have settled in well. He's in tune with the cultural differences. He's willing to adapt. And most importantly, he accepts and loves his wife for who she is, bossiness and all. Emily, sometimes she's stubborn, she's being bossy and stuff like that. But I wish that my friends don't understand that I'm not living in Africa, I'm living in, in America where the culture is different. I think every single couple on 90 Day Fiancé, new and old, should be made to watch Kobe. The way he handles his friends, the way he always sticks up for his wife, is so impressive. He's so mature and it's so refreshing to see him handle things so gracefully with a smile on his face. He's always got Emily's back, no matter what. Kobe knows that his marriage isn't traditionally Cameroonian, but he just doesn't care. He doesn't care whether she treats him like a king or not. Like, all he cares.
cares about is that he has a happy, healthy marriage. That his wife and kids are happy. And frankly, Kobe's friends, by trying to convince him that a marriage with a Western woman will never work out, are stepping way out of line. Me in Cameroon, I know that each time that I come back from work, my wife will put my food, my traditional meal, and put me water to bath, and that is fine. This is giving serious house made with benefits vibes. Kobe's friends don't seem to want a partnership, a marriage filled with love and respect. What they seem to want is a glorified housekeeper. Watching this, I get the sense that Kobe's friends are looking down on him. It's almost as if they somehow feel that Kobe's been brainwashed during his time in America. It's disappointing that they can't just be supportive. They can't just be happy for Kobe. Instead, they seem determined to pressure him into agreeing with their beliefs. But yet again, Kobe stands firm. He stands up for the love he has for his wife. I met Emily and I took a gamble on that and I feel like that was the best decision I ever made. Like, look, we are here today, we got two beautiful kids and I mean, we're happy. Kobe reiterates, he makes it crystal clear that he's happy with his life in America, he loves Emily and he loves his kids. In fact, since this was recorded, they've actually welcomed their third. So yeah, sorry Kobe's friends, but I think you've missed the memo. That ship has already sailed it's a bit late for this chat, guys. For as difficult as it might be for his friends to accept, Kobe is absolutely fine with the fact that in his marriage, it's his wife that wears the pants. Yeah, she always want to take the lead, you know, and I understand that this is who she is. It's a part of like, like some of the negativity in our, you know, in our relationship, but I choose not to focus on that. Again, Kobe is displaying a refreshing amount of emotional intelligence here. Like their journey, everything that it's taken for Emily and Kobe to get to where they are today has been all about perseverance. They've managed to stick by each other when truth be told, it probably would have been easier for them to go their separate ways. But I think that's just testament to the fact that Kobe can see the bigger picture of their life together. And whether or not his friends like Emily, he has no intention of backing down. And I also feel like they're too quick to judge her and that's not fair because I know she's a loving person and it's just happened to appear that, okay, her personality is something that is not very common for an African woman. You've got to love it. Kobe is the ultimate ride or die. Like Emily's vibe may be completely different to your typical African wife, as in probably the polar opposite, but Kobe remains devoted no matter what. He's not about to let his friend's opinion sway him. And instead, he just goes on to show how very different he is from his friends. We've been together for, you know, a couple of years already. I'm a kind of a man that I don't restrict my wife from doing something. It's a partnership, so we into this together. Look, for as much as I personally do believe that Emily is overly controlling, overly bossy, Kobe is okay with it and that's all that matters. If he's happy, his friends or none of us have any right to be meddling in their affairs. Like, I don't know what they're hoping to achieve by this. Like, are they hoping to hold an intervention right here at the barber's shop or something? Are they hoping that Kobe will just suddenly miraculously confess to being unhappy and return back to Cameroon? Abandon his wife and kids? I mean, it's just not gonna happen. And when we join Kobe later on that evening, he's taking Taking Emily out for a date night. You're sitting up front? You haven't seen me oh. all day. Oh, 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 oh. You don't want to sit with your wife? You're taking on a date? It's okay, my love. And we're off. Immediately, Emily is in full bossy mode. She's making demands and seemingly starting the night with a game of 21 questions. Will he choose the comfy front seat or risk enduring her grumpiness all night? Kobe just wants to have a relaxing romantic evening, but Emily has other ideas and already she seems annoyed at him. I have no problem with him hanging out with his friends, but like we're here together as a family. I want to do family things. I want to go experience it with him. I don't want to be left in the hotel. 
So Emily's frustrated that Kobe took the car to go and meet his friends. He was out all day, she whines. The thing is, Emily, you're being super inconsiderate here. Since arriving in Cameroon, Kobe hasn't left their side. He's been their personal tour guide. He just wanted one day with his friends who he hasn't seen in years. Can't you at least give him that without throwing a tantrum? So what happened at the barbershop? What do you guys talk about? You were there all day long. We talk about guys talk. Is this Emily taking an interest or is this her insecurity at play? I think perhaps Emily can sense that Kobe's friends aren't her biggest fans. Kobe tries to protect her. We just spoke about run-of-the-mill guy stuff. You know, sports, superhero movies, whether women should have a say in a marriage, <laughs> whether cultural differences make us fundamentally incompatible, that kind of thing. They don't trust that in the long term, we will be happy together. What? And while I for one certainly won't be lining up for marriage advice from Kobe's buddies, who, let's face it, sound like terrible husbands, it is hard to deny that Emily comes across as bossy and naggy. Putting cultural differences aside, she'd really benefit from working on how negative and how bratty she is to Kobe before she winds up ruining a lot more than just a date night. That was defending you the whole time because I know who you are. As you are. should because you're my husband. Exactly. It's crazy, right? Emily practically strong-armed Kobe into spilling the beans on his friends, which he did. He didn't withhold the truth from her. But the only thanks he gets is now his wife is acting bratty. She's got the hump with Kobe. And it's ironic, isn't it? By her acting this way, all she's really doing is inadvertently proving that Kobe's friend's judgments may have actually been spot on. You know, it's like judging a book by its cover. They don't know me, so read the book first. Emily's visibly pissed off. She's using the classic don't judge a book by its cover defense, and it's actually a pretty clever tactic to avoid any accountability whatsoever. She's incapable of looking inwards to see if there's any truth to what's being said. But the truth is, it's plain for everyone to see that just as Kobe's friends feared, she is very naggy, she is very bossy. So are the cracks in their marriage beginning to show? Did Kobe's friends manage to plant the seeds of doubt in him? By me, you're kind of like bossy and that's true. Like, you want somewhere. everything to be done in your way. I, no, you I'm very wanna, precise. You want to, come on, baby. Precise, huh? Is that what we're calling it now? Emily's not bossy. No, no, she's just exceptionally specific about how things should be done. I really feel for Kobe here, especially after going into the lion's den to defend her. But sadly, Emily isn't ready to let up. I feel like maybe your friends got in your head and you're acting like a little strange. Get in my head when I was defending you the whole time. Like I'm not saying that. Why is it even exploding to what it is? That was an Olympic level 180, Emily. She really needs to realise that by acting the way she is, all she's doing is serving to reinforce Kobe's friends' concerns. Possibly now also Kobe's own concerns.